Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise giving during the job interview in finance. So this exercise is this one. You flip a fur coin until you get five heads in a row and the question is how many flips do you need to make that on average. So if you want to give a try please pause the video otherwise let's see the solution. So, let's start by naming E the number of flips to get five heads in a row. Then we are going to draw a tree uh, to see the situation. The first flip, you've got a priority of one of the two to get a tail and priority of one of the two to get a head. Well, if you got a head, you are going to continue. If you got a tail, then you are going to flip uh, the coin E times to get five heads in a row. So then if you end up with a head, you continue to flip and the same probability is so two options or you get a head or a tail and a tail, this is exactly the same process, you need to flip the coin E times. Then, if you end up with a head, you continue, you flip a third time, probability is one of the two to get a tail, and in this case, you need to continue to flip E times the coin to get five heads. Then, if you end up with a head, you continue, and you've got two options, tail or head, and tail, you are going to continue to flip the coin E times. So, and the fifth uh, times, you flip the coin and two options, or you end up with a head, and you've got five heads in a row, or you end up with a tail and you are going to flip uh, the coin E times. So now let's count the total flips. First case we've got E plus 1 flips. Second case E plus 2. Third case E plus 3. Fourth case E plus 4. And fifth case, you've got E plus 5, <clears throat> and at the end, you've got 5. So, what are the probabilities? The probabilities are 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, this is 1 over 4. So, if you multiply by 1 over 2, this is 1 over 8. 1 over 16 and 1 over 32. And then the formula, the expected value is what? The sum of the probability times the number of flips. So let's illustrate. You've got <clears throat> E, this is the expected value. This is 1 half E plus 1 plus 1 fourth E plus 2 plus 1 eighth e plus 3 plus 1 over 16 e plus 4 plus 1 over 32 e plus 5 plus 1 over 32 times 5. So if you distribute, then you end up with e equals 16 e plus 8 e plus 4 e plus 2 e plus e over 32 plus 1 over 2 plus 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8 plus 4 over 16 plus 5 over 32 plus 5 over 32. So now if you do the math you obtain e minus 31 e over 32 equals 16 plus 16 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 over 32. Then if you put these two terms on uh, the same denominator, you end up with E 
over 32 equals 16 plus 16 plus 12 plus 8 plus 5 plus 5 over 32. And this is E over 32 equals 62 over 32. So the final answer is E equals 62. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.